Welcome to the MH2801 video segment on the orthogonality of EI 2 pi NT over capital T. Consider the uh, integral from 0 to T of the product of two complex exponentials, 1 E to the minus I 2 pi MT over capital T, and the other E I 2 pi NT over capital T respect to little t. Now, um, these two functions, as we can see, uh, are periodic over t. That means if we write, write, if we write it this way, uh, if we write e i 2 pi n t plus capital T divided by capital T, we will see that this is e i 2 pi n t over t plus 2 pi n. So this is going to be ei 2 pi n t over capital T ei 2 pi n and this is 1. And therefore these functions are both periodic over uh, periodic with a period t. Now let us um, evaluate these two integrals and see what we get. So if we First, we combine the two complex exponentials to write this as e i uh, 2 pi okay, n minus m t over capital T dt. And because the complex exponential is actually a very easy function to integrate, uh, the integral, of course, is just e 2 pi n minus m little t over capital T divided by the, the factor that the fact the, the coefficient in front of t which is i 2 pi n minus m divided by capital T and then we are supposed to evaluate this at t n 0. So let's see what we get. Uh, so first of all uh, we have t over 2 pi i n minus m and then we have e to the i 2 pi n minus m little t over capital T uh, evaluated at t and 0. Now if we substitute the upper limit into t little t, we find that we find that this becomes 2 e to the e 2 pi uh, times n minus m. Now if n is not equal to m, this is an integer multiple of 2 pi and therefore the upper limit will become 1. Now what happens to the lower limit? If we substitute 0 in there, we will get we will be evaluating the exponential of i times 0, which is of course also equals to 1. Now because the upper limit and the lower limit are supposed, we are supposed to evaluate the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit, and since both limits are 1, we find that the integral is actually equals to 0 for uh, m not equals to n. Now what if n, m is equal to n? Now if m is equal to n, so if m is equal to n, then we see from the initial um, integral that this will become the integral from 0 to t of e minus i 2 pi n t over capital T, e i 2 pi n t over capital T dt, Okay, these two factors are going to cancel each other, so we are effectively evaluating the integral of 1 dt, which is equal to t. And therefore, we can summarize, we can combine the two results into a single term and write the integral from 0 to t of e minus i 2 pi m t over capital T times e i 2 pi m t over capital T dt is equal to t is equal to t uh, delta n m okay so where uh, delta m n is the chronic delta so this is the chronic delta okay so we see that when n is equals to uh, when m is equals to n, then we, we get a non-zero uh, integral value. If m is not equals to n, then we get zero. So this tells us that these two functions, they are actually orthogonal over the 
uh, time interval 0 to t. So over one period, these two uh, complex exponentials are orthogonal to each other. This is what we mean by the, uh, the, orthogonal, the orthogonality relation for the complex exponentials.